Hello friends, how are you? So yesterday I decided to take the day off a little bit just to have some time to rest and relax and have one day off filming, which was awesome because Sunday I do Sunday Sherry's over on Instagram where I share some of my favorite things from the week. I do a weekly reminders post, so I do some work over on Instagram on Sundays. If you're not following me there, please do. Also, if you're watching this video, make sure you are still subscribed because YouTube gets weird and has been unsubscribing people. Many of you have reached out, I'm aware of it, I'm making you all aware of it. So go ahead and check that out to see if you are still subscribed. Make sure you keep sharing the channel and all the things because you're the best people ever. I am super excited to jump in today. We are going to do a little bit of a Q&A just to help me get back on track, but also highly requested that we would do another Q&A prior to moving. So. I'm just gonna jump into questions. I have screenshot them to keep myself a little bit more organized and we're just gonna jump in, in no particular order. So the first one is I thought Arizona would be your next move. Still an option down the road. Yes, for those who have followed for a really long time, Steven and I absolutely love Arizona. It's one of our favorite places to visit. We love it there. We've actually looked at real estate in Arizona. We love it. I think that is like retirement, but Arizona will always be on our radar and a place that we really, really love. But I think it's more of like our retirement phase versus like where we're at right now in life. Not a question, but I wanted to swing by and say safe travels. I can't wait to see the new place. Well, you guys will have to wait a little bit. Um, when we first go to Charlotte, we are staying in an Airbnb. It's a house with a fenced-in backyard and everything that we need for the dogs, but our house isn't ready until August 18th, so we will have a little bit of time in a really, really cute area of town and a very, very cute house, so I'm excited to share that with you. It's really, really cute. Other than your sister, what have you missed most in Charlotte? I think I just miss being, like, in a city and I like Charlotte as a city because it's still very much a drivable city however I miss being in a more urban city and I'm excited for that I would also say that I have <laughs> I'm going to be so busy um, and I better charge up my social battery because there are so many people who I want to see who want to see me who I already have plans with all of the things and I also want to start living a little bit differently um, and getting a little bit more active so I want to look into a pickleball league I want to look into a tennis league I want to like get back to all the things that I really really love in life and start doing them what will be your first big project in the house uh, well, the painting and all of it, it's a new build, so there won't be a ton of projects. It's going to be similar to here. I think we're going to be there and, like, kind of sense it, but I think the first thing is, like, getting the decorating all done and in a really good place. I think that will be the primary focus, but, yeah, we're going to make it so good. It's going to be such a different vibe, and I'm so excited for it. What's going to be your hardest goodbye? In all honesty, I don't know if I have one. I think this move is very much needed. I think Steven and I are both very, very excited about it. I think I think his parents obviously are, like, being away from them is hard, but they're going to be down there visiting us just like they do with his sisters who live um, in different areas. So I know they're <laughs> excited to come down. I feel like anyone that I have a really good relationship with and that we have like a deep connection, I'm going to see them anyway, so it's not a goodbye. I also think it's different nowadays with FaceTime and cell phones and like all the technology and Instagram and social media that we have that like, do you ever really miss someone uh, unless they're family? So I don't think there's a really hard goodbye. I don't. How early did you start decluttering before the move? Whew. Well, Steven and I decided that this was going to be happening, I think in, Jan well, I know, in January. 
We figured the move would be sometime in April, which we have timed it actually completely correct. We kept saying like the first week of April is when it would all happen and that's exactly when it is. Um, so I think I started decluttering February. I think February, the week after my birthday, which would have been February 9th. So the week of the 12th is when I started really decluttering. I think that first weekend because we wanted to get the house ready for it to be on market and we were actually ahead of all of that. Wait, no, that's not correct because the house went on the market while I was traveling in Atlanta during my birthday week. So probably the last week of January then or the first weekend in February is when I started. Where are all the boxes you've been packing? So there is a couple locations. Uh, my office boxes are still in my office. I've just scooted them into the Jack and Jill. All of our decoration, seasonal stuff is in the basement. I think I showed you guys that in a huge pile, all boxed, all labeled. All of the kitchen stuff that I've packed, house stuff that I've packed is in the garage. We want to make it as simple for our movers as possible. So really, we want all the boxes in either the basement or the garage for them. So that makes their life easier. And then the, all they're moving is the couple handful of furniture now that we have left. We don't really have a lot to move. I think once we get there, because the, how our new house is about is only like a hundred square feet smaller than this one. I think once we get there, we're going to be like, we don't have anything. It's going to be eye-opening, but we'll get there. When is your last day? Friday next week will be our last day here. So this is our last full week, and then we will be gone by the end of next. What is the first room you wanna tackle in the new house when it comes to unpacking? Well, I think I just wanna, I wanna unpack the kitchen first because packing a kitchen and unpacking a kitchen are the two very worst rooms to move and unpack. So I think I wanna get just our kitchen organized. Also because Steven will start work pretty quickly and I wanna be able to take care of all the things and make him lunches and dinners and all of that. So that will be like a high priority for me to get the kitchen all settled. But like as far as decorating a space, I would say I'm most excited for our living room because it's a really fun layout. There are some similarities. I have some plants for wallpaper. Like I'm just excited about it. But also I think that's the one where I've really like been visualizing a lot of things and I'm excited for that. I'm also really excited. We have two really big landings up the staircase. So we have like the big landing um, halfway up and then we have like a very cool area where all the bedrooms go off of. And I'm excited of like what I'm going to do with that. I've been like toying with the idea, do I want a console table? Do I want like a bench? Like I have a couple ideas. I'm excited about that space too. But I have to like be in it to figure out what I wanna do. Will your parents live with you and Steven or your sister or will they have their own place? My parents will have their own place. My parents are, um, my parents' house is sold now. If my parents need some time to find a place because they have some very specific needs for the place that they are looking for, uh, they are always welcome with us or my sister. The only difference is, is my sister lives in the suburbs of Charlotte, about a half hour out of the city. And Stephen and I live in the city. We're a half mile from the main street of Uptown. So I don't think that is the most appropriate place for my parents. They don't want to be driving in traffic. They don't really want to be living in the heart of a city. So that for Stephen and I was very important. So I look for my parents to move closer to my sister and be about a half hour away from us, which I'm going from seven to 10 hours to a half an hour. I'll be there all the time. I'm literally gonna, I told my mom, I'm like, I'm gonna be at your house all the time. Like I will go there on a Friday and stay the weekend just cause I've never been able to do that. And I'm so excited. Are you and Steven both driving your cars to Charlotte? How long is the drive? Dogs used to car rides. Dogs are fantastic in the car. Mabel is really good. Bubba's is good because he's gotten older and he'll fall asleep. He used to be terrible and just pant and stand the whole time. Steven is going to take the dogs in his car because he already has it set up 
and we are going to like do more of the moving stuff that we want to take with us in my car and then because he has an electric Mercedes and I have an electric Tesla, our charging systems are not the same. So basically we have a halfway point that we will meet at and that is like just the end goal of like we're gonna meet at this place because we're not driving the whole drive for the dogs. So we will be driving together once we get the movers um, sent off here. Have you always been great at organizing systems? Yes, I love creating a system and creating organization. I get it from my grandmother. My grandmother used to organize everything under the sun. She would use like old egg cartons to organize things. She used like, I remember like her color coded closet. I remember like her jewelry drawers were like meticulously organized. My grandmother like is the neatest person ever. So I think I just get it naturally from her. Any tips and tricks to labeling boxes? I think a really good idea, and this is the system I'm using, either by yourself, a set of colored duct tape to label your boxes and cut them in like three inch pieces just so you can see the color and like the name of the location, or use white duct tape with different colored Sharpies to label them. I like a color coding system, and what I did last time when we moved into our house is every box had a color, and then I hung a piece of paper that was that color in the location that I wanted that box dropped off in. I don't think if that will be as necessary because I'm going to be pretty present to co coordinate this move, so I think we'll be okay. What are you excited most to do when you get to Charlotte? Ugh. I mean, besides see my family, I think to see my friends. I, I've i never been more excited to like connect with people that I've missed so much. I'm also just excited to like sit in the sun. I feel like it is always gray here. Of course we get sunny days here and there, but like I feel like we spend half of the year just in like gray. And I think that's why I ended up going with a darker palette in this house, just because it seemed to lend itself to that. But I'm, I don't know. I'm excited about so many things. I'm excited about being in a city. I'm excited about getting out of our house and walking to a coffee shop. I'm excited about like just having the access that a city brings. Uh, yeah. I'm, I mean, I couldn't name just one. What do you pack while you're still needing to live in the home? So like I have packed like all the appliances that I don't use all the time. I did realize that after that I packed a couple things that I shouldn't have packed, like our pizza cutters and stuff like that. But we just went and bought another one because I didn't want to dig through boxes. So I essentially looked at stuff and I asked myself, do I use this on a weekly basis? If so, I left it out. Like I left our air fryer out. I left um, a nine by 13 pan out. I left three cookie sheets out. Like I kept things that I know I would use throughout the week and I have used all of them. And then everything else I packed up and realized that like, if I need it, I can find an adjustment or substitute it with something else. And then with bath stuff, I haven't really touched any of my bathroom things. And like that's this week of going through decluttering some of that um, and also deciding what I want to pack. Is your mom stressing about her move to North Carolina? I would say we are. Everyone keeps saying like moving is so stressful, all of these things. I feel like we are all so excited to be together that none of us are stressing. I think we are just simply excited. Like there is no stress. We just cannot all wait to be together. What did you decide to do with your Peloton? We decided to keep the treadmill, but we sold the bike just because I definitely lean towards the treadmill more than the bike at all times. And I just love my treadmill so much. We got a really good offer on the bike and we decided to take it. And then we have a professional coming to take apart the treadmill here and another professional coming to put it back together in Charlotte. So I feel really good about that. Um, the movers helped us coordinate that. So we are keeping the tread, the bike is gone. What model of Volvo are you interested in? So I have had an XC90 and an XC60, and XC60 is the best size SUV, especially when you don't have children. So we are use, doing that and we're getting the hybrid that you can charge and use gas in it, and we are getting the black limited one is what, I, what I'm planning. I'm not ordering a car until the fall, so my mind could change, but that is kind of what I'm set on right now. How did you decide to, 
This one's funny. How did you decide to price the furniture for your moving cell? Not well. So we definitely underpriced everything because we soon realized that no one was negotiating prices because things were so reasonable. But Stephen and I's goal was not trying to get the money that we put into it out of it. Our goal was to get people to move it out of the house. So I think you have to determine there what your goal is. Is your goal to make money on your sale? Now, did we make money? Yes, we actually did very, very well. Much better than we even anticipated. But it's because we had so many big pieces to sell. That wasn't our end goal. Our goal really was to clear the house. So I think you would want to determine what your goal is. If your goal is to make money for your move, then you wanna price it probably a third less than what you paid for it. So if you bought something for $3,000, you would knock a third off of it and price it for two grand. Um, that's just like a easy example. But we priced really low because our goal was just to get things out of the home. So I think determine what your goal is, but the estate seller said it's typically a third less than what you paid for, as long as it's still in very good condition. Are you planning on a first dinner in your new space? I have not at all. The first dinner, I have planned very simple dinners that you guys will all see throughout some filming that are just like quick and easy, that don't require like a huge grocery haul, but I haven't like really thought about what the first dinner will be. I think we're going to have dinners and then like I'll do like our first like real sit down, like dinner in our dining room because our dining room and kitchen are all like one big entertaining area, which is a new layout for me that I'm super excited about. Not a question, but you're inspiring. I started thinking about my own life and finding true happiness. I mean, this is the best thing that's ever happened uh, for Steven and I. We feel so at peace with every decision, the way it timelined out, every aspect of it, uh, we feel so at peace with it. And I also think that's why you see a level of low stress as well. This move will be weird as a viewer as you started your channel in your New York house. It will be. It's gonna be so weird to film in a new space, but I'm excited for it. Are you taking any mementos from your home? I, I am not a huge, like, sentimental, like, keeper of things. I have a seashell from the beach on my, from my last day of work where I went for a walk. That's going to go somewhere special. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm going to have to ask Steven that. Maybe in the vlog I'll ask Steven if there's something he's thinking of taking that will be sentimental. He's definitely more of a sentimental person than I am. Will you be doing more Thanksgiving and Christmas vlogmas with your family now? Uh, absolutely, because every minute will be spent with them. And I know you guys are so excited to get to know my family a little bit more. You've seen glimpses of them, but now you'll get to see us like in full action, <laughs> which I might have to apologize for in advance. Um, we are a fun family and I just cannot wait. Uh, yeah. How are you handling food in the freezer pantry fridge? That is a great question. I actually want to start going through the pantry today and start thinking about what meals I can create from it. But I mean, I have to get through as much food without wasting it as possible. There are so many other questions. I'm going to save some of them. I have some already saved from the first round for the road trip. I also have a new mount for my camera and I'm gonna try that out today in the car to see if it works any better. But I appreciate you all so much for submitting questions, for being so supportive, for being so kind and being as equally as excited as I am. But take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends.